In this video, I want to talk about something which is called the shebang or hashbang. And this only applies if you are using a Unix-like system. So Mac or Linux or Unix, basically, not Windows. However, if you are using Windows, stay tuned because I just want to make a couple of remarks about this Hello World program. Now this should work fine if you set up your virtual environment and it was all working correctly. So I don't think you should have any problems with this. If you do get any error messages, then I would suggest copying them and putting them in Google and seeing what comes up. Earlier versions of Python actually let you type this statement without the round brackets, but Python 3 does not let you do that. So if you see code on the internet and it looks like this and it claims to be Python code, but it's not got round brackets in it, that's for an old version of Python. It doesn't work anymore. And the reason we've written print here is technically what we're doing is we say we're calling the print function. We're basically running some code which has the name print. And the reason it's called print is because when we display things on the console in computer programming generally, we call that printing. So printing in the lingo doesn't mean printing it out on a printer. It means displaying text on a console. So what we've done here is to print the text, hello world. And we also often call a string of characters like this. We call it a string. Now with that out of the way, let's take a look at the main topic of this particular video, the shebang. So this will not apply if you're using Windows, but I want to show it to you for the sake of completeness. And even if you are using Windows, maybe you will use a different platform one day, perhaps in a job. So on a Unix-like platform, we can type which Python to find out the location of the Python program that we're actually running. So the actual Python interpreter that interprets the program we've written. I see it's here, so I'm just gonna copy all of that and I'm going to go to the top here and type what you could call a hash sign and then a exclamation mark and I'm going to put this in. And what that does is it tells your operating system to use this program to run this program, the one that we've typed. To actually run it, I need to tell my operating system that the current user me has permission to run this file as an executable program, as a program in other words. And I can do that by typing chmod. This is for modifying file permissions. U plus X, that means add execute permissions for the current user. And then the file name, which is hello.py. And once I've done that, I can run it like this. I can type dot slash hello dot pi and it will actually run. So once again, this doesn't work on Windows, but I'm going to often do this in this tutorial. So I wanted to show it to you if for no other reason than that. Now the actual current directory is, is this bit and I can replace the current directory with a dot if I'm always going to run it from this directory and that still works. So I'm going to be running programs both ways. I'll use this shebang quite often and other times I'm just going to type Python and the name of the program. It's the same either way. This is a free video from my course Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides. Then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write 
all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.